Right, so as I said, I was going to do these for both of them. But, uh, welcome to the second video, if you're just getting here. Uh, <laughs> basically, it's just the it's just the, the stream continuing. So, welcome back and enjoy. If you get to the end, maybe I'll leave a little surprise of me speaking. But, I know none of you enjoy this shit. But, uh, yeah. Have a nice night. See you guys. And Carvo's taking more drink. Drank. I'm gonna put you in the mansion. Right out of Wisconsin. Alright, uh. Reminds me of a T Pain song. Never listened to it though. <laughs> what the fuck is T Pain? I don't know. It's just like, I knew it from Russian Badger, but it's a singer or something. I don't fucking know. Fucking YouTubers corrupting our young. <laughs> and just became a 40 year old man. Yes, you just became my grandmother for a second there. Damn to be, fucking internet ruining our new generation. To be fair, I am quite like that, but not in that regard. But as, if someone leaves a door open when when they've been asked to close it countless times, I'm like, fucking these kids these days. Yeah, I would. Yeah, honestly. The funniest part, the whole, like, back in my day, I've barely ever heard it from my grandmother or my father. I've only heard it from my dad's girlfriend. <laughs> and she's the youngest out of them. Back in my day, you would have been fucking murdered. <sighs> I recently found out that, well, no, not recently. I've known this for quite a while. I'm just trying to drop this fact in here for some strange reason. But I would have been <laughs> murdered by Hitler for about five or six different reasons. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm part I'm Polish. I'm just it off of the... I'm, I'm the... part Polish. I'm physically disabled. I'm a homosexual. Uh, I have different political views than them because I'm a socialist. Uh, let's not get into our political views, though. Uh, yeah, there was no, there was one not, more. Let's not get with mine. Just let's stay out of that. <laughs> yeah, there there was one more, but I'm forgetting it. Uh, fuck's sake, Hitler! Why would you want to murder me? I'm, I am forgetting. <laughs> what a casual conversation topic. Asking yes, how... it very much is. <laughs> uh... Right. Well, I'm just adding the wee finishing touches to this house. The the wee finishing touches doesn't even have a fucking roof yet. Wee, wee finishing touches. All right, well we'll get this done. So I'm just li I'm literally gonna put all of this stuff in here and continue on my quest to find some fucking. I'm gonna take all the coal and split it. It's... Excuse me, hang on. So, on my streams, I was actually building the giant bridge, not just for like, oh, it's a bridge, but it's because I get lost so easily, I have to have a direct structure to know where to go back home. That uh, sounds, it actually sounds less sad than you'd think, because you're probably not the only one who would need that. <laughs> I get, I, my sense of direction, and like, in a lot of things, is terrible. The, to be honest, I am going to open my coordinates and take a picture on my phone. So I know where this whole house is. Uh, I'd probably, like, how the fuck do I use it? <laughs> right, uh, saplings, I'm going to plant them. So let's go plant these saplings out here first. And I'll place some torches around. Light up the inside of the house primarily. Uh, and I think I've only got enough torches to do that. Let's go get some more wood first before we <laughs> con sit, continue to go out and venture forth. So, my my dad loves rum, and in like every single like, other day, he has, you know, some rum and coke. Your dad so, an alcoholic? And, uh, uh, do you want to talk about it, uh, Carvel? Does he beat no, you? No, he has an empty glass rum bottle right here. 
Yeah, oh. uh, right here. It's uh, a Bumbo Romco. That's a really odd brand name. An authentic Caribbean legend, Bumbo is ma masterfully blended by hand from island r rums and native spices chosen from across the West Indies. Based on 16th century native recipes, Bumbo <sighs> reveals its history and craftsmanship in every sip. Sorry to butt in here, but um, Caribbean. Or yeah. Caribbean. Oh. <sighs> I, it's like sealed right now. Cause... Mother f that motherfucker keeps sealing these things on me. I thought I thought he finished it. Yeah, it is empty, but he sealed it just in case. <laughs> oh, got it. Carl, you, you know you shouldn't be drinking. <laughs> what? You know you shouldn't be drinking. Fucking. <laughs> that this is a this is a live stream for for uh very specific reasons. I have to be honest in saying that Carpool does not drink rum. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm not gonna answer that. Yeah, I know you're not gonna answer that because if you do, I might need to show you. <laughs> In my defense. In your defense? What defense do you have for this? <laughs> it's good. That's not a defense! <laughs> Hold on. Oh yeah, he's got two more balls under his desk here. Fuck's sake. Three more. <laughs> Carvel, are you the alcoholic of your family? <laughs> um... Changing the topic! Or, like, fuck anything else! Fuck yeah. <laughs> Right, so basically, the, this wee design that you're seeing from my house right now, that's basically what every house he here is going to look like. Uh, I don't... Because I'm not very creative. <laughs> it's going to have like a really flat top with a slab roof. Marvel, are you okay? I'm just opening and closing my drawers to look for something? What? What are you looking for? More rum? No. No, look. Uh, Carvel, oh, do yeah, I need to are. sign you into an AA meeting? Nope, okay, that's one book. Surviving Trench Warfare. Minecraft Medieval Castles. Spy vs. Minecraft Spy. Medieval Castles. That was from my dad, I couldn't refuse it. I mean, who wouldn't love that book? Yeah. Uh, also, the Trench Warfare, Canadian Corpse, 1914-1918, Core. Not Corpse. Whatever you want to call it. It's Core. <coughs> yep, yeah, excuse me. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna vent- Actually, I'm, it's almost night again, so I'm just gonna wait till it goes to night again and then venture out. We better find the stuff I need this episode. Episode in quotation marks. Because it's basically just part two of the same stream that I'm turning into two episodes for YouTube, because why the fuck not? Yeah, you get works. me? You get me? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I changed the last episode. The, the fucking hell, I'm staying at same episode now. Uh, Sorry, some ASMR drinking. Change the <laughs> fuck. You know what? I'm going to fuck. I dropped the will. All right. Is my res? Oh, no, I actually need to wait tonight to set my respawn and then get the fucking cords. Mm. Right. So the the first nine minutes of this episode has just been me building a house. Just... House builder with Gog. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, that is how to take something off there. The belt, Jesus Christ. What did you do? I just had to take my belt off. <sighs> yeah, here's the thing. I'm extremely fat, which, um, with this belt, it is around in its metal part here. Right, and, uh, it stabs into me while I sit down. And it gets very hot. 
and it hurts. Right, D5. Uh, I've got the chords and picture now. I'm going to travel Jesus. day and night. Chris okay. still here? No, he's not. He left like a while back. He didn't even say. No, he actually did. Oh, well. Chris, that didn't respond. Goodbye, I guess. Okay, Carvel's trying to get a cat to come to him. Those are pills. Oh, lovely. Not, not only are you an alcoholic, you're a pill popper and all. They're, no, they're not even mine. They're dad's girlfriend. Ah. That's calcium magnesium. Mild iron. What if, whatever the fuck that says. Hold on. To be B. Sure, I think everyone in Scotland needs to take vitamin D. Tablets. Speaking of vitamin D, vitamin D gummies. <laughs> yeah, I, and the toonie. I'm taking the toonie. Wait, no, it's change. Who is change? <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, uh, the Canadian currency has the Looney Tunes. <laughs> Fuck off. Okay, so we have a toonie here and an and a and a Looney. <laughs> no, nickel. No, the beaver one. What a a nickel? What is that again? How much is that? Uh, it'd be like fucking. I don't know. I don't remember. Right. Don't remember. What? What is to... one? What is one? Like what uh, is is one something? A uh, one dollar. That's a loony. no, no, no. Like a cent. Is, is it cent oh, there? That's a penny or um, a pence if you're a, a British one. From All right. Well, we say pence. So what? So what's a quarter? How many pence is it? A uh, quarter. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's. I. I just realized what it was, but now I want to know if you can guess what it is. 25 cents. Yeah. <laughs> I was, here's the thing, I was confusing quarter and time or quarter and money. Like, is it 60 to a dollar? My brain was working really weird there. To, to be fair, I thought I thought you said something else because, I'm, like, cents, I, I know America cents is so many different things that, like a dime. Uh, like I don't know how much a dime is. A dime is fifteen. Like, why would you need a dime? I don't know. Oh well, no, is I think it's ten cents. No, I'm, f I'm mixing up other things. We just have ten pence, pence coins. Well we don't. We don't call them dimes. We just call them a ten pence. Back in the day, we did call them a ten penny, but uh, like all one word, ten penny. But we don't uh, do that they, anymore. They give me a unique name, so when immigrants come over, they get confused. Oh, so have you got we'll... any? Have you got any ten pences? No, but I've got a dime. Fuck you! Right, like, hey, you got ten pence? No, I got a dime. Go back to your country. That's what you're gonna hear. If you think that's a joke, it's not. Right. Uh. All right. So I've got the coordinates. Just making sure. Right now, we can venture out and try and find this. It's not even an actual village I need. I just need the resources from the village. What the fuck are you shaking now? <laughs> okay, that was, uh, you got a pot can, you're up the top, I've put No way, there. no way, fucking finally. It appears you found a village. <laughs> Let me guess, it was right next to you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Cannot, but can could not find a spot for, uh, find the spawn location for Nomad. So clearly, all the corners of it are, uh, interrupted. So this is going to be like a decaying village. But I'm going to take all of their shit. Absolutely, all of their shit. I'll start with this bed. Hopefully, you're not hearing what I'm doing in the background because I'm walking around currently. Right, I'm I'm sorry to all the people that I'm now stealing from, but uh, it's needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, and right, I'm I'm getting so many home tours. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I had to just count something real quick. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs>
Are, are you in the French part of Canada? No, I am not. It's just that when I count sometimes, I do it in French. Alright, it's been drilled in our heads since grade 4. I don't know what grade 4 is. Fourth year! That doesn't help. Of what? Fourth year of what? Fourth year elementary. What the fuck is elementary? Primary! Okay, so the first school you go to. Yes! Okay, thank you. It goes all the way past to second school, third school. Yeah, you can actually take it all the way through grade 12. Or we have. We, well, let me get this straight. We have pri primary 1 to 7. And then we have primary. No. We have primary 1 to 7, then we have secondary 1 to 6, and then we have higher education, which isn't needed, but, you know, it's really useful. Post secondary. Yep, yeah, okay. <clears throat> We have a really so, yeah. simple school system. In, uh, it's, it's efficient, but it's really simple. Second school, which probably means grade 8. You can do that as an option. 8 and 9. Holy shit, I said. I did as... Wait, well, no. Hold on. 9 you can do as optional at that point. I did as a, in grade 10. It wasn't the greatest. I only got like a, a 68. Um, my lowest grade, but eh, it still passes. I actually got my report card digitally, of course, because fuck sending in paper nowadays. It's not like an old man saying that. And yeah, you know my low stuff, you know, nineties, eighties, you know. Right. So clearly, this village has been out of commission for a while, but it has everything. So I'm just going to do a bunch of trips <laughs> back and forth. And just rob this entire village of everything it has that I need. Hmm. And then set out a big farm. Wait, I'm gonna take a. I'm also gonna take a pit. Yeah. Farm. Mm hmm. Except it's gonna be better because I have manual laborers to do it for me. <laughs> but I have redstone. Well, I actually can do that, but I'm too lazy to. Get yeah, redstone. exactly. You're too lazy to do that. I just need to employ people. <laughs> here's the thing. I have so much spite in my system. I can get that redstone off stream. I am a spiteful fucker. Mm. You are indeed. You are indeed. Like I started streaming just to spite someone. They stopped doing their YouTube shtick, and I'm still spiting them. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so... If we're in the second episode, and literally seconds after the second episode starts, we find exactly what we need! Whoa! Mm. It's kind of like fate made this happen. Duh, duh. Mm. If fate is such a thing. Do you believe in fate, Carvel? I don't even have I, a fucking door I, yet. <laughs> I, I don't believe in, like, fate or anything, really. So. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe in fate, everyone. What are our judgments uh, on that? Uh, I'm taking this red bed. Right, we're going to need a lot of beds, so I'm just going to put all the beds here at the top. <laughs> How many beds do you need? Well, actually, a lot because as villagers. Yeah, rhetorical question. Uh, but yeah, there's even more there that I'm going back to steal. <laughs> the answer: a fuck ton. Yeah. They define as a new measurement for how many beds you need in this game. A fuck ton. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, my house is not finished, yet I am... I'm actually doing pretty good, and I'm quite proud of myself for finding that, even though it was literally over a hill from where I fucking... That came from. <laughs> I need to fill Look, that lava just hear banging in the background, like, what's that? 
I'm oh, putting my just, feet on the a, table. A car will blowing up the... I don't know. Fans. No, that's literally just me putting my feet up on my table. Well, that's <laughs> some pretty big feet, my man. <laughs> that's just how loud everything is again. It just gets louder. Like, how the fuck does that work? God knows what! <laughs> Not even God knows, no. I... Not even God knows. Who says there is a god? Mm. Um, Christians who want an excuse to kill people. Mm, well, religion in general. D no. d doesn't need to be one god, just religion I... in general believes that a god exists. <sighs> to be fair, I don't care if a god exists. Just chill out, man. <laughs> don't fuck with us. And if you if you are real, please reveal your presence, because you know Listen, there's kind of a dick move God hiding like this. He wouldn't care about one singular species. He would more care about the fucking universe at hand. But what if there only was one singular species? Then that's just stupid. What if we are the only one? Dun <sighs> dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> That's like a mathematical impossibility. I know it's virtually impossible. I do not think we're the only things in the solar system, but it's funny to think about. Yeah, like in the solar system, there's small bits of bacteria on Venus, Mercury, and all of those planets. Yeah, well, then, that that may not be intelligent life, be. but it's life. Yes, life. Period. Because um, life finds a way. <laughs> I'm gonna take these chairs and all. Life finds a way to kill itself. If oh, we refer back so to cool. if we refer back to Doctor uh, Ian Malcolm's chaos theory from uh, <laughs> the fucking Jurassic Park of all things. Yeah. Oh, that was a hope. Even though I do have some strong opinions on people and humans, <laughs> which I will not name here, because that may not end well. Why would it end well, Carter? What are you hiding from us? Come well, on. Well, uh, you can tell us. Eh. You can tell us. What is the importance of human life, Cog? The importance of human life. Well, ultimately. It's for naught, because there is no importance of human life. We are a tiny speck in the ever-expanding universe. We are nothing. We want to expand, we want to be great, but ultimately, we are just a tiny wee... Not even a speck. We are absolutely nothing in the grand scheme I of the universe. I meant, for example, you see someone hanging off a cliff, and he's about to fall. Would you... A, help him. B, kick him down. Or C, do nothing. And watch well, him fall. In, in the moment, right now, I wish to say I would help him. But knowing knowing huma humanity, I probably wouldn't. I would want to try and help him. That, that it is my moral obligation as another human to try and help him. But most people would not. And... Even I probably would not, even though right now I'm saying that I would. Yeah, my logic is that a human, no matter what its brain, it decides it'll try to kill some person. <laughs> so, if it let him die, it's honestly more of a safe way to live. <laughs> I got unexpectedly <laughs> dark and uh, gritty. That is what happens when you get the other side of me out. <laughs> There's more the than other one guy. side. <laughs> every, every, everyone has multiple sides. And they may not be. They may may not be as simple as emotions. They might be complex, as as in like another, even another personality, like things like DID or stuff like that. Fuck! That's a creeper hiding behind that tree. <laughs> I, I was I was getting into sentimental talk there, but that's a fucking creeper. <laughs> yes. Yeah, just the other Talk, guy talking, talking there. Talking about a mental health condition and how important it is to, you know, talk about these things. And then, oh shit, that's a creeper. There's a creeper just says, let me introduce myself. 
Let me get this iron, will you guys? That'd be great. <laughs> That's when you let the other guys start talking. Bye, fuckers! Right, uh, shall we get back to our... Um, talk sure. about mental illness? Uh, <laughs> stuff like DID and that. Uh, stuff that you should talk about, but... That... <sighs> Fucking hell, I don't even know what I'm going to... I'm not qualified to speak about this. It's... Fuck, that's going to hit me into the lava. Yeah. I'm going to bed. As a zombie villager. You have no use to me. Just dead. Hi guys. Night guys. I'm I'm really not qualified to talk about a mental condition like DID. Yeah. As people that believe they are professional enough to talk about are probably not. Since even now, like, people are like, oh, we understand this. Yeah, no way in hell. People still don't understand them. Humanity doesn't understand half the shit it says it does. Yeah, and most things rather because of accidental misinformation. For example, the old Wolf Alpha Beta there. There was, of a, there was an accidental study that was released off of uh, not studying enough. Originally, it was actually just a mother or father reading, I don't fucking know, a parent leading their cubs into, back to their den, as someone thought it was an alpha. Whatever. Carvel, I think I have a lot of beds. Yes, I can see that from here. Right, and six. And I'm leaning back. Six. Six. Right, I have all three sixes at the top of this. I have and one, two, three, four. Wheat, nerf, beast, and then I only have three of these. So, I, I have, like, these left over, but I'm not going to do a six. Well, actually, I might build a six first. And I'll just get a text from a close person to be saying they're impressed with this shitty build. <laughs> Un under tall cat sink, see so tweet nerf. What is with nerf. you? Stop speaking in fucking French. I can't understand shit. <laughs> I was counting the beds. <laughs> There's a lot of them. There's... That's six times three. Plus two times three. So that's six times that is six plus uh, eighteen. Oh, this is Twenty-four. The oh. fuck? XP, where that did that come from? Oh, it's very cat, alright. <laughs> Enough of your <laughs> fucking <laughs> French! I'm sorry, just in a French mood today. Just in a French mood today? Right, where's your fucking white flag? Yeah. So, no, I do, I do say that, but the French the French fought on in World War II. Like, the, okay, French, so. the French get a lot of shit, but they did fight. The, and the this and rifle, it was a belt-fed bullpup lever-action rifle. Mm -hmm. And 44 Magnum. And I'm like, alright, that's in poor taste, but the craftsmanship on that thing is stupendous. Like, that's like really hard to do. Making a bullpup belt-fed lever-action gun. And also being a Magnum. <laughs> yeah, and 44 Magnum, but that's like, that's a side thing. <laughs> it's, it's fucking impressive, but it's also like, why the fuck? Because another thing about humans, they like a challenge. They they will they will try to challenge themselves as much as they can. Yeah, and make a new weapon. <laughs> that That is the thing. Humans will always uh, evolve faster in warfare. Yeah, that's how humans evolved. Humans have evolved through warfare. Duh. That's yeah. why I'm like, whenever I hear some hippie talking about, no, like, love is peace, peace is love, blah, blah, blah. like, shut the fuck up, buddy. To be fair, in, in this age, we are probably better off with it for at least a while. Eventually, I, I assume, yeah, we'll go to war. We'll end uh, the world. We'll end the world as we know it, but humanity as itself will come out stronger. Well, but there's been some news here in Canada that's uh, quite interesting. There's the. Do you know what the Emergencies Act here in Canada is? No idea. So, it was only used three times, now four from yesterday, from last night. Holy it was shit. used during the First World War, the Second World War, 
and joined this 1970 insurrection. What was the 1970 camp. insurrection? Oh, they kidnapped a few ministers. The Ooh. French, like a few Quebec people, kidnapped a few high official people in Canada. So they had to deploy the military to, you know, stop them. So it's been deployed again from the truckers' incident since they've actually found guns inside the trucks. Oh, holy shit, no way. Is the trucker incident get that bad? Yes. And people are saying, oh, like, should have used force earlier. I'm like, get. Yeah. In every incident of the Emergency Act, there has been military. And you know what happens when there's military? There are people with guns shooting each other. Do you want this to be an international incident? <laughs> That's what uh, actually what happened during the 1970s. It was a British person that was kidnapped as well. It became an international incident. Yeah. It was Trudeau's father, uh, whatever his first name, Trudeau, and uh, he his famous line, watch me, when a reporter asked, how much military force will you use? Do you know what he said? Watch me. <laughs> nah, Remember, anonymous. That was uh, this and... Trudeau that said that? is the father of the Trudeau that's currently in power. Ooh. So, do you know what's gonna probably fucking happen? <laughs> Canada, uh, civil war? Probably not. Just a lot of people get killed. Imprisoned. Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it sounds days. like it's going to be a very strange few weeks in Canada. It probably won't even last that long, that's the worst part. During the 1970s, there was about, in the first few weeks, like, it only lasted not, it didn't last that long. There were 500 arrests, 506 and 576, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 482 were released as non justice so, yeah. Anyway, during a protest during the 19th, uh, actually, pretty sure during World War One, the end of later half of it, at anti-conscription uh, riots. Mm -hmm. During later half of World War One, they couldn't have enough men to stage in the battlefield, so they had to use conscription. And the, because of that, was the first one the emergency mandate that it was uh, initiated, which was they. The Canada did not have a navy to send their troops over, so you know what they did? They initiated the act, which turned any private property and people into uh, the government's private property. Which means that if you were World War One and you had a boat, that boat would be turned to a military transport, your boat's gone, mm -hmm. find a different job. If you were of Austro-Hungarian descent, German descent, Turkish descent, and Japanese descent, during, and even to, during World yeah. War Two, guess what? You're going to a camp! Yeah, that is the thing. They did that here and in America. Yeah. Forced labor. And they actually had to work fucking golf courses to keep them working. Mm -hmm. The the wars were horrible, horrible things that happened to this world. And I will say, World War One was too harsh in Germany. I, I will say, World War One was too harsh in Germany. They were they were blamed as the sole like starter. Like Austria yeah, and the, the Turkish did so no. much worse than them. Yeah, the Turkish did so much worse, and it wasn't even the the uh, Germans that started it. It was the fucking Austrians. Well, no, sorry, it was the uh, Serbians. Yeah, uh, what? Serbia. Yeah, it was the Serbians. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I thought you said the. Caribbeans, which, <laughs> which had me confused. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be a very interesting couple weeks. Probably gonna be more in the news. Even though these truckers are anti vaxxers, and that's why they're protesting against government tyranny. Oh my rats. And I'm like, you're fat guys. You're now caring about your health. Yeah. When did your country become America? I, I thought it was better than that place. Um, 
Well, here's the thing, we're not that spoken. We are sort of like America, but we just are quiet about it. Mm. Uh, I need to... I wanted to tab out for a minute, and uh, none of you will see what's happening. But I'm going to Google. I'm going to... Wait. I'm going to see what name tags do in Tectopia, because I've got, I've got like three of them here. I have no idea what they do. <laughs> I, I know they do something uh, special for the mods, uh, but I've no idea what they do for it. Uh, so it's just a <laughs> name. Yeah, uh, the Emergency Act uh, also turned, they turned pot factories into artillery shell factories. <laughs> uh, like, uh, Kando's not ready for a war, but he was able to mobilize the quickest in the world. Right. Profession AI. Ooh! Uh, teacher. If a crafting bench is placed in the school, the teacher will use papers and feathers to craft name tags. Okay, so teachers will. And the school knows to take the crafting to what? Uh, hmm. I don't know what this has. This uh, has to do with their na being name tags uh, assigned. Maybe you get to name the villagers. I don't know. But I think I, I think it's actually time to start <laughs> uh, the actual village stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to actually get my iron chest plate first. Well, actually, no. I need to do a lot of wood stuff. Like, I need to get a bunch of wood. Uh, I was like, yeah, modern history is not that interesting. Me talking about the emergency act. Oh shit! Again, I, I, I'm not one for modern history. There, are, there is still hundreds of stuff that I don't know. But it's I am. It's not interesting until you're living in that that moment. Yeah, but I am still more one for uh, ancient history. Listen, it's all fun and games until you're. You're becoming part of that modern history, which is terrifying for my part because, uh, <laughs> because during this new emergencies act, which it was renewed, was changed a bit after the 1970s incident, which it was this there was multiple, it can be used in, for, in terms of war, invasion, and lastly, the one that seems to be affecting currently insurrection. Lovely. So that's gonna be fun, since these guys are just some truckers, and are now spewing up incidents internationally, New Zealand. Yeah, it's not gonna end well. Does anything ever end well when you want it to? Yeah. That's why I'm more tired than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed quickly. We're going to do a bunch uh, of wood farming, and I think that's where we're going to end that. Well, we've still got, like, we've still actually got uh, 22 minutes, so maybe we can get some stuff done, like, village-wise, like, maybe even uh, put down the first villager house, maybe... Maybe not get the villager set up, but we need the farm and the and the wood chopper area, which I'm currently making. I love my father's optimism and uh, what's going to be currently going on now. He's like, no, they won't. They probably well, they won't even bring the military involved. It'll be fine. I'm like, yeah, no, they're going to. <laughs> like history is like a poem; it repeats itself. Everyone knows that history repeats itself. It is a it is the it's a sad fact of life, but it is a fact of life that history will yeah, always repeat and, itself. Uh, boy. And since the police currently, you know, they don't have the technology or the manpower to move the trucks and the people. Sure, they can maybe like unfuel a few cars, but now that now that those protesters are using GoFundMe and other sites to uh, fund themselves. The economic minister of Canada has gotten into this and has put those people, like GoFundMe, those companies trying to do this, mm -hmm. into pretty much a headlock where they have to go into these certain programs where they have to go into register to do those, like, all 
more work to actually fund these people. So, you know, because this is a fucking protest. This is not a protest anymore. This is an insurrection. This is an occupation. So, it's just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't have enough torches for this shit. And plus, the the economy for a while is going to be shit. Because the truckers are the ones moving in all the materials to the factories we have here, the car factories, because, you know, Canada makes a lot of cars for America, and that's a good middle dollar, and if we can't get the parts to make the cars, mm -hmm. we don't make money. And if the money doesn't come in, things go up! <laughs> Yeah. Saplings. I love those stupid protesters who are like, Oh yeah, this won't do much harm. I'm like, Are you fucking kidding me? I think they Can are. Do... Just, just kind of... Uh, it's... it's stressful. All of it is nowadays. Yeah. You okay there? Yeah. <clears throat> it's, I remember during World War One, during the anti-conscription riots, which were prominent in Quebec with French Canadians, because, you know, they were like, no, we won't do this for Britain, so they all protest. The military got involved, because, you know, it's the Emergency Act, and, um, the Quebec people started to shoot, I don't know who exactly started, but since they were riled up, the protesters, they brought guns out, Mm -hmm. And started shooting at their soldiers through ice. And the soldiers had to defend themselves. There were a hundred casualties. Four civilians were killed. Jesus Christ. Mass cast. <sighs> Fucking hell. Yeah, and that happened all in not one, just a few days, maybe. That's terrible, all of it. Uh, all of it is terrible. <laughs> the, the globe doesn't really hear about Canadian news for... <laughs> I'm not surprised, honestly, because... Why would they care for the second largest country in the world and one of the biggest... Car manufacturers for America? To be fair, I don't know anything that goes on in the world. I don't watch the news one bit. Mm. I'm... I just stay out of it all. I need four. Uh, but it'll give me six. No, it'll give me exactly four, yes. Uh, honestly, it's all terrible. Uh, that, I don't look at the news because it will trigger my sad, my big sadness as uh, as the word is only allowed to be said like that here. Yeah, I, I, I can't really avoid it when I'm living it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's fair. Right, so one, two, three, one. And I love that the people are saying that, like, oh, they shouldn't be arrested. They are just protesters. And I'm like, fuck you. Protesters destroying the entire fucking econ economy of the country. That works. Yay. Let's yeah. let them go free like they're heroes. I'd rather just put them on a pole and shoot them. Sorry, that was, that was the other guy talking there. <laughs> Shit. The torches are in the right place? Uh Good. Just gonna the dirt one to the right. Fuck. Thank you, Carvel. 
Yay, Carvel helped. I was like, what are you staring at? You just kind of move him to it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what I did wrong. <laughs> My LCD helps. Finally, I have done something good. Yeah. Finally, you're useful. Finally, instead of making me feel like I'm gonna blow up at any second. Oh, uh, I, I should probably not tell you about the missile then. That the what? I've been... The, this entire day, I've just been planning a missile aimed directly at your house. It's almost there, Carvel. Yeah. I've also, there's been news about N North Korea with their new missile launching. I'm like, huh. Anyway, <laughs> North Korea doesn't really scare me anymore. Neither does yeah. Russia, neither does uh, America. If we go to war, we go to war. People die. It's, it's rinse and repeat, honestly. Honestly, like, uh, during the Beijing Olympics, I don't watch it because... One... Boycott China. Second, I don't want to support a fucking genocidal nation. That's completely fair. And warranted. Like, it is closer. Okay, China may claim to be communist. It is closer to World War Two Germany than it is to communism. Yeah, the th thing is with communism, uh, communism can never be done properly, and this. Uh, claim that we have that we rule because we can never do it properly because you know we're human we yeah. are the mistakes of the universe the, during the olympics there was actually for the the uh norton the finnish athletes actually their apartments in places where they slept flooded Oh. Just like the rapidly built hospitals for the COVID patients that were both built in a few days. As uh. well as that the meat is so drugged in China that if you ate it and you were to do a drug test in the Olympics, you would not be able to participate because they thought you were on steroids. Wow. Also, they've been underfeeding the foreign athletes. And also have been bribing the Olympics into scrubbing all information on YouTube and any other media sources of their country failing. Well, not failing, more of a, a certain foreign person that went to China that fell. I will not give any more information. Because I do not want the Chinese coming here. <laughs> I don't know any of that shit, honestly, I'm just listening it. Listen yeah, that, to you for all of this. I can't explain that one because that one the Chinese extremely hate. And also the fact that now they're brainwashing their children to screaming at the cameras yelling, Kill the Japanese! The dwarf people even though Chinese people are smaller than Japanese. Yeah, racism's and, a weird thing. Yeah, they've turned China into a fucking ethnosnake. Mm-hmm. It's been like that when also with all that going on, it's ironic that the person in charge now, Kim no, 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 that's not his name. That's not uh, Korea. Um Whatever the fuck. Winnie the Pooh. Uh Winnie the Pooh the number sixteen. When he firstly arrived into office, into the offices of China, like the head up, he was in charge of the Olympics. So this is a big deal for him, because as emperor, and the first Olympics, as the Empire of China, as he's probably going to soon call it, and uh, he's fucked up this badly. Also, with the ski jumps next to a nuclear power plant. That seems uh, incredibly dangerous. And here's the thing, it's like near cooling silos, but the reason why is because China... The people would rather, instead of looking at between two things, the, like, industrious land or the great green plains that are beautiful, they would look at the industrial zone to say, we're not poor anymore. Mm -hmm. 
and they try to give that impression to us, but we have seen that too much. Like, it, we're the Western world. We invented this shit. Well, no, not necessarily. Well, the we West, the Western that, world I mean. here invented that shit. You're the Western Western world. Yeah, you get what I mean. Yeah, I get what you mean. As in, you's got you. It was before you, like modern civilization was even in your countries. Well, not yeah. nuclear power plants, but like factories in general. That was. I was no, kind of I, I specifically mean nuclear power plants because I put that right next to him. And um, also, in the blatant cheating during the Olympics, mm. that they've now had to scrub. Like during the skating, which here's the thing I love skating. I'm really good at skating. But when I saw those Chinese athletes shoving people to the ground, like, to fight, actually, the fucking. So infuriating to me because it's just like. You know, I'm big of Canadian stereotype when it comes to hockey. I love hockey, alright? I don't really watch it that much. Still love the sport. But when they do that, it's just fucking infuriating. Just. And the fact that. Actually, one of the Chinese officials was actually, you know, accused of raping a girl. Is also best friends with uh, one of the head Olympic people. That's why they get away with this, all this junk. Jesus Christ. Yep. The world is a shitty place. Yep. Well, also, that same athlete of rape is, uh, is missing now. Also, one of the athletes for China that was asked to be interviewed by foreign news people, they asked, where is he? And the Chinese media said, he's resting and has never been seen since. Ah. I'm assuming if that man is dead. <laughs> yes, the translation is he's dead. Mm -hmm. He's resting. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who arrived now? Okay. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> This is actually going quite all right. Uh, that this small wee start I've made. Yeah, yeah. But we're we're almost done the first video. Like I will be ending this shortly after two hours, but we've made quite the amount of progress. Mm. And had some deep conversations. Yeah, that was, that was basically the entire Beijing Olympics. There's maybe a few other things, like, uh, you know, any pictures of the poor conditions for the foreign athletes, the, uh, the police officers of China, the, you know, the military police, because, you know, the same thing in China, walk up to them saying, delete the photos, delete the photos, delete the photos, delete the photos. Mm. Because uh, they want their image to be crystal clear. And I'm thinking... Because the Olympics are so lenient on the Chinese government that maybe North Korea could participate. Probably. Oh, so not be surprised. Right, well, uh, this is the start of the town hall, which is going to be a, a rather small building as I'm not the best at, uh, you know, building. <laughs> But I've made a wee wood farm, which will be where our woodcutter goes to, you know, cut wood. If that wasn't obvious. Was it obvious? Yeah. Two, three, four. Now my mind's One, just stuck two, on hitting three, China. Four. Great. Hmm. <laughs> Right, right here. Uh, I don't know if any trees will uh, grow up. Oh, nope, never speak of the devil. There's a tree that's just grown. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. Right. I don't 
Mm, well, should I? I don't. I just realized something. Hmm. These are going to be like really difficult for the villagers to get to. So I think I'm going to, you know, extract them and put them one down, but put like uh, slabs around them. Hmm. Which also takes a load of wood. Which will be brilliant and a waste of time. So yeah, that, that was Carvel's hot takes on the Olympics. Yeah, I could have guessed. <laughs> Which, it's ironic I talk about this on other people's streams and not my own. <laughs> Yeah, you probably should have saved this for the next farming stream. Eh, yeah, but I keep forgetting about it. I probably wouldn't have remembered anyway, so... Hm. Might as well say it now. Yeah. Uh... Oh, thank fuck, I thought that was the big tree there. Now I'm thinking that the TV show Ghostbusters, the real Ghostbusters, of course, I had on DVD as well. <laughs> yeah, DVD. Did you know there was a Ghostbusters TV show? No, I did not. This is the first time ever hearing of it. The real Ghostbusters, I had on DVD. It also is on YouTube now. Hmm. Like, just the episodes. You can look at Ghostbusters YouTube page, I mean, YouTube channel. It's right there. Wow. Uh, kind of just er, makes the uh, DVD redundant. Yeah, but most DVDs are redundant nowadays. Or my VHSs. They are even more redundant, I'd say. And the cassette player I have. Jesus, Carvel. You're the same age as me. Yeah, it shows the culture between Europe and, uh, Canada. <laughs> Things are very different between the two places. Yeah, I can guess. Right. Like, you can probably still find a cassette player in the stores. Yeah, this is just turning into a bunch of slabs. <laughs> Because I decided to change up my uh, tree form technique. Random question, Kyle. What's your opinion on Star Citizen? Never played it. Yeah, and, and neither have I, but uh, old man's been playing it the, a lot recently. Who? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my, my, the old man here, my dad. I <laughs> just see him motion smacking me in the back of my head <laughs> while looking at a page of Star Citizen. <laughs> <laughs> we're waiting for, we're waiting for Star Citizen to load. <laughs> we're, we're, we're waiting for Star Citizen to load. <laughs> um. All right, so fifty-eight. So the the stream will be ending very soon. I'll probably have like a five-minute conversation with whoever's left, and for it to end on. Uh, Different note than Minecraft. Even yep. though, even though I really want to keep going, and I'm off school tomorrow, so I might just keep going in my own time off school tomorrow, because you know I'm really excited for this. Ooh. Oh yeah, I got, oh yeah, my math test came in. My results for that from yesterday: thirty-four at uh, thir no thirty-three out of thirty-four. Right, that was it. If we, if we agree, 34 out of... Uh, 30, 33 out of 34. Ah, my brain. It's weird numbers. If you're gonna do that, just round up to 35! You, you get like 99% in your maths test? I failed my fucking exam. It, duh. These, these are easy. Because one, it's the beginning of the year, two... It's uh, the beginning of the up. year. Uh, semester. Second semester. Beginning of second semester still, so... Yeah. Plus, I'm more... Academic skill, and I'm in applied class, so... I yeah. have no idea what half these words mean. 
let's say the stuff I'm being teaching is level one. I'm more prepared for level four. Well, yeah, okay. Oh, I hope you get on good with level one. <laughs> and meanwhile, uh, Metfist. Or whatever the hell the guy sits beside me that wears the exact same sweater as me. Uh, <laughs> is uh, He's like struggling, like, hey, what do, you, what do you think about this? I'm like, shut up, I don't care. <laughs> that, seems, like, hey, <laughs> that seems mean, you should help him. Th th that's how I am, it's gone like an asshole. <laughs> I get that you're an asshole, but even assholes help people. Also, he's like a drama kid. At, at any point, he'll just yell out an answer. If it's wrong, you say, YOU'RE WRONG! <clears throat> I'm a drama kid. I don't act like that. I take offense to that. Let me, let me just, uh, American drama kid. Ah, okay. American blue haired drama kid. What's wrong with blue hair? I'm just gonna get blue hair. SJW. What? Social justice warrior, feminist, BS. Half these words you're saying is confusing me. The only word that I got there was fucking feminist. Alright, let me just put this in their most simple terms. Retarded! Okay. I'm scared of you now, Carvel. Like, the most of these, like, short terms is how I only know them, so... <laughs> like, how is that scary? I don't know. But you're scaring me. Carvel, are you okay? These are, like, normal terms. And again, uh... uh Alright, well, we're two minutes over, Drew. <laughs> it's time to end the stream. I get two into yeah. Minecraft. Yeah. Right. Uh, sleep, 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 sleep. Yeah. Alright, there we go. I'm going on to the roof to end up. Uh, but, yeah. Saving quits the title. Thank you for joining us, everyone that has joined throughout the stream. Uh, Carvel, I'm going to mute on Discord so I can speak with my lovely viewers. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. Uh, thank you for everyone who joined us today. This should hopefully be going up on YouTube in two parts. I should do some of the editing tonight and do most of it tomorrow, so uh, the first video should at least be up tomorrow and the next one I'll schedule it for maybe a few days after that, just to keep it broken up a bit. Hopefully I should stream this again next Tuesday, maybe even stream it again tomorrow. Uh, but until then, uh, good luck, goodbye, and I guess I'll see you later. Uh, it's been fun speaking to you all. It's been fun streaming for you all. This is one of my. This is one of the only times I've had fun streaming in quite a while. So I'm quite pr proud and happy of that. But uh, as time gets on, it's been fun. I'm going to do some editing. It is 16 minutes past 10 o'clock at night. So only a bit of editing. Uh, but thank you, you lot. And see you all next time. Cog out. Does that work? I don't think it does. Bye, guys. As I said, I said I'd leave a little surprise, but uh, you got it to the end. Still, I'm recording all these before I've even started the editing process. Uh, but the no, in fact, in fact, it did just start downloading, so that's a good sign. Hopefully, I'll get some done editing done tonight. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you did get to the end, uh, welcome. And hopefully, I'll stream again soon. If you can't make that, make sure to watch the next video. Maybe we'll do it like this again. Because that seems to work, but I don't think we'll have the time with school and all that. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, that's a shame. But, who knows. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you a lot next time. Cog out. Again, it still doesn't work. Have a nice night, people.